it's Kayla and today I wanted to talk about my impacted canine experience. It was the worst experience and the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. I would never wish that on anybody and I'm just here to talk about it today. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about impacted canines just so you know uh what i'm talking about so first your impacted canines are known as your fang teeth they're like the sharpest teeth at the top of your mouth i'll insert a picture of canines but um when your uh, teeth are impacted that means that they're stuck uh they're stuck in your mouth basically they're stuck at the top and they can't come down and your baby teeth won't get pushed down because your adult teeth do not push them because they're stuck so sometimes they can be stuck crooked, sometimes they can be stuck straight down, they just, they won't come down. And most of the time it's a hereditary thing, it's just one of the things that people have to go through. But for a, like, um, people just want it for their parents, they don't want to have baby teeth still stuck in their mouth. So they get the surgery to remove their teeth and have their adult teeth pull down. So in order for that to happen, you have to get braces and you have like a little wire, if you want to see you have like a little thing right here and when they expose your adult tooth i'll insert pictures so you guys can understand but when they expose your adult tooth they add like a little thing on it and then they put a band to like help push your teeth down so it's kind of a long process it takes like six months to a year for it to fully come down but it's worth it because it'll come down but that's the surgery that i have to go through and it's a pretty painful surgery and it's in your mouth it hurts so but I did not have the generic surgery, the generic experience that other people have, the quick healing process. I had a horrible experience with my surgery and I'm gonna tell you guys about that right now. Okay, so in around April, I went in for my surgery uh, to get my uh, baby teeth taken out, my baby canine, canines taken out on both sides because I have impacted teeth on both sides. I wanted to get them taken out and for them to expose my adult tooth so they have to cut like kind of they have to uh, cut your gums so they could open it up and then attach the little bracket thing to it so they could put the band on so i went in around april 17th i think with my surgery and oh my gosh so i went in and they numbed me up i really didn't feel any well i felt pressure during the surgery that's normal to feel a little bit of pressure but it was normal. The surgery, the actual surgery wasn't bad. It was normal. Uh, I could feel like, I can hear the scraping. I could hear stuff. I could feel like, uh, kind of like a pressure feeling, but nothing was painful that much. Um, and it, when it was, like, they would ask me, like, so I guess they would see my face. I'll make it, like, painful face. Like, this shit hurts. But um, they stopped. So, um, so after the surgery, um, they tell me I'm done. I get up. And I walked to the car. So I was kind of confused because I did take medicine before the surgery. So they, if you're like kind of someone who gets anxiety or gets a little nervous about stuff, they, you have the option to take like medicine before the surgery to uh, calm your nerves down. And I opted to take it just because like I just want it to be as calm as possible. I don't like to get cut into. <laughs> so I don't know. Like that day was kind of fuzzy, but I like I didn't. I felt a little off. So uh, when I got home, I noticed like they didn't put any kind of like gauze or anything to soak up the blood like it was just coming out of my mouth you know and they they prescribed me hydrocodone or hydrocodone I think that's what it's called hydrocodone and basically that's just for the pain and to help you like sleep and stuff but they didn't give me any antibiotics for like uh if infection happened so that kind of like weirded me out but I was like hey I'm not the doctor they are so um I Went to sleep that night and like I said, there's no kind of gauze, any kind of like anything to soak up the blood. So I wake up and my old sheets and pillows and everything is just full of blood. And so I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, but I was like, they didn't give me, and then they also didn't give me instructions on how to brush, how to clean my mouth. Like they told me to stay away from like brushing and stuff. And I was like, okay, that doesn't seem right. What if food gets trapped in there? But okay so i actually forgot to ask they did tell me to do salt water rinses um that's all the instruction that i was given 
um obviously that didn't work though so yeah but i didn't get any kind of instructions before the surgery or after the surgery they just did surgery and they told me to go like i i didn't get anything except they gave me my teeth back and said bye like they gave it to me like in a plastic thing i could probably find it somewhere i don't know where it is but yeah that was really it i didn't get any kind of how to take care of it for i had to learn from google but um fast forward about a week later and i like a week or two later and i and i went back to school because i go to school in north carolina but i live in virginia i'm only about an hour away and because i thought like from everything that i read i thought that i wouldn't be 100 percent healed but like i'll be able to go back to school and stuff but about a week or two or two later i'm noticing that the swelling isn't going down i'll also insert pictures throughout but um the swelling isn't going down and like a like the top part of my mouth was so swollen I couldn't talk like it would give me like a lisp and it would hurt to talk and I would have like so like it would just be so swollen and so painful like when I said words it was like it was like a lisp like uh, that's how I sound like every time I talk I sound stupid so I called the the um the place that I went I'm not gonna expose them or anything but I called them and I asked like is this normal I mean it's going on in two weeks this doesn't seem right and i also was getting like this kind of smell like you know but the smell of infection and i was getting all this pus coming out and i was trying to brush it even though they kind of they didn't tell me like anything about it but i was trying to brush it on it but it hurt so bad because it was so sensitive and stuff so i couldn't even like fully i couldn't even eat like i was eating yogurt every day and this is like two weeks going on to three weeks and i can't even like it just it's so much pain so I had a um, I had a orthodontist appointment because they wanted to start attaching the band to it to start pulling it down because they didn't attach the the elastic band to it yet. Uh, when I got surgery, they were gonna wait till my orthodontist appointment to start pulling it down. But um, I I knew something was wrong. I, I couldn't even talk. It was starting to get a little green and pussy. And like I could taste the pus taste in, them, in my mouth and I couldn't even eat because like it was like making me sick and you want to throw up that taste because I was always tasting it and smelling that infection in my mouth. So I knew I knew something wasn't right. And I even told my boyfriend, I told my mom, I said, this isn't right. I don't know what's going on. And they were like, you know, they're the doctors, you know, they. It, I think it's normal. It's the healing process. But I'm like, it shouldn't it shouldn't be this long like all the youtube videos i've watched and all the all the information i looked at on google nothing said this you know i it just didn't seem right so i went to my orthodontist and like she was like whoa like this is looks really nasty basically and um and she even said that she could like she has her mask on so she said she could even smell the infection like she said it's not my fault but she could smell the infection in my mouth from my mouth and it's just not good my orthodontist even noted that she thought the way that the surgeon did my surgery was kind of weird and it looks like he literally just pinched my gums together and that's why I was also healing kind of weird because of the way that he sewed my gums back together. He kind of just pinched it and sewed and it was just too much tissue and stuff there for it to heal properly. So she called my, she called my, um, my surgeon. She was a little pissed. She was like, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with her mouth. Like, it's not supposed to look like this. And um, finally, he prescribed me antibiotics. And I had to take amoxicillin three times a day for about, I can't remember, was it a week, two weeks? I don't know. No, it's 10 days. Is that, I think I had to take it for 10 days. I think I had to take three, three amoxicillin every day for 10 days. Um, and, like, as soon as I started taking that, the swelling, the infection, the the pain started to go away. And what I don't understand is like, why didn't they give me this antibiotics beforehand? Why did I have to go through two to three weeks of this pain and infection until, I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. It was like one of the worst pains ever. I couldn't sleep at all. Even with the hydrocodone, like it would, the only thing that that did was make me go to sleep. But I couldn't sleep through the night because I would be in so much pain. Like it would feel like it would feel like burning and like 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 a ripping feeling in my mouth all night, and it would just hurt so bad. Like 
there i remember at school there was one night i cried because i or two nights i cried because it was so bad like i couldn't do anything like it was just like it was making my head hurt it was making my whole head just burn and it was just so horrible so that was my experience luckily you know everything's good now and the process is going right but that was the worst through two three weeks of my life um but yeah so what i would tell people who are getting the surgery i don't want to scare anyone who's getting the surgery because impact the canines are quite common like um it's one of the most common teeth to get impacted to become impacted so um if I could give anyone advice who know they're going to the surgery and who they're probably watching the story time kind of nervous and scared about it, what I would say is when you go to your consultation, make sure that you get a good vibe from your doctor. Make sure that you feel like your doctor is going to is going to make sure you have the best care and is going to give you the best things for an easy recovery. Um, if you get an uneasy feeling about your doctor, leave and go to another one is what I would say because you don't want <laughs> what I experienced what I experienced happen to you um because it's already a pretty uh invasive surgery as it is like I just wouldn't if I was you I wouldn't want to go through what I went through I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy it was so bad and then also like when I went back they didn't even care like they didn't even care about what I went through like it was just like a horrible experience and horrible vibe from that whole office. I just, just make sure that you get a good vibe and a professional vibe from your surgeon because you do not want to go through that. Another thing that I want to stress is to trust your instinct. If you feel like something is wrong, if you feel like something is feeling weird, go and get it fixed immediately. Do not wait like I did. Do not try to tough it out trust your instinct if something feels wrong do something about it do not listen to what other people say do what you feel like you need to do um but um other than that if 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 you have a good experience this surgery should have a pretty easy recovery it's not going to be easy of course you're going to still have to eat yogurt and you're still going to have to you're still going to sleep a lot you're you know it's like any other um surgery but um just make sure that you have a good doctor is what I would say. So yeah, I'm also going to add some pictures of my mouth now and how um, it's healing and stuff. Um, it's August right now, so it's been about, it's been about four months since I had the surgery. And then about two or three since I started having, um, since they started moving my canines down. If you guys want more uh, story time videos, I have a lot. If you want more videos about impact canines, if you want videos about braces, if you want videos about anything, please let me know um, in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you do like this video, if you do want more uh, story time, but I have plenty of story, story times. So yeah, just go like and subscribe and comment down below and I'll make more videos. Bye guys.